Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Park Rovers and we're at IAPA 2021 down here in Orlando and we're here on the last day of the expo on Friday. So let's check it out. If you're new to IAPA, that stands for the International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions. And this is the expo here in the Orange County Convention Center. Oh, wow. So right when I walked in, this kind of this corner here is all the rides by SBF Visa, including this drop tower and the coaster and some other smaller rides. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. So it's going to spin soon. There it goes. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I guess I have to try it out. So over here in the corner, they have these small swings here. The drop tower. And also this ride called Wipeout by SBF Visa. It's pretty cool. So this is pretty crazy. This drop tower called Hammered actually has 10 different modes that you can select from before you get on. There's a VR, V-Ride 360 balloon ride experience here. Wow. Guess you can experience this right here on the show floor. Oh, wow. It looks like you kind of put on an Oculus headset. You can kind of see what they're seeing on the screen behind. Oh, this is wild. This is really cool. And here I am in front of one of the most popular roller coaster manufacturers, B&M. Let's check out their booth. Wow. So they actually have Mako seats right out in front of their display. It says it's voted the number one roller coaster by USA Today Reader's Choice. And I, I do not doubt that Mako is awesome. One thing I appreciate about IAPA is they actually have this map on the floor because I'm already lost. And just to get, give you a sense of how big this expo is. I entered right about here where my foot is and I've only gone up there. And there are, there's a lot to explore here. And here's Intamin's booth. They're one of the other popular roller coaster manufacturers here with a booth. Okay, I've just found some animatronic penguins and it's, <laughs> it just made my day. So this booth with the penguins and the snowman is Martin and Vlemix and it looks like they make animatronics. This is really awesome. <laughs> I love these guys. It also looks like they sold a, a VR sleigh ride. That's awesome. I wonder where that's going. Maybe to uh, Santa's Village up in uh, New Hampshire or anywhere. There's a few of them. All right, so I'm back at this map and I now understand how it works. So they have different sections here at IAPA, one for water park, show production and design, family entertainment, inflatable food and beverage, rise and equipment, games and arcade, operational services, services and first time exhibitors. So we're kind of in the rise and equipment section just wandering around and this might take my entire day here. Um, but I do want to meander over to the games and arcade section as well as maybe check out the water park. I only have a few hours here, so this is really hard <laughs> to cover, um, but I'm gonna do the best I can. I have to go visit another favorite roller coaster manufacturer of mine, and that's Vekoma. Here they are. Not much going on at their booth, but it's 
cool to see them here. This is this is nuts. I found the inflatable village here at IAPA on the show floor. This this right here is a massive collection of inflatables. I don't think you will see anything more impressive. This is <laughs> a lot of air that has contributed to this section here at IAPA. Just wow. Check out this snowman. <laughs> Look at this guy. Frosty. I probably should have taken a better look at that map because I just realized there's a whole outdoor exhibit here and they've got a lot of stuff. So uh, looks like some more inflatables and uh, ooh, a zip line. I'm not, I was not prepared. One thing about IAPA is that a lot of amusement parks, water parks, family entertainment centers will come here and actually buy attractions, including these inflatables. It's pretty hot outside today, so we're gonna go back into the show floor and check out what we missed. Only $32.50 for Mystic River. Non-slip combo with a pool. I'll slide right in there. Could fit that in my backyard, maybe. Look at all these balls, pool balls. Blue balls. <laughs> so this is all stuff aimed at family entertainment centers. So these are like smaller kind of indoor parks that are in uh, smaller cities around the US and, and the world. Here's, here's Hollowgate. I've definitely seen them around before. So they have the VR experiences. See them hanging from the, from the rafters there. This is cool. It's like a uh, go-kart, but a jet ski or a sea do a race aqua cart. That's awesome. Love to do that. So this purple section is operations, which you can see <laughs> definitely need to have a clean family entertainment center or amusement park. Walt would of course agree with that. So you have booths for like reservation systems or even just getting into the park here. There's also uh, some booths for credit card readers or communication like walkie talkies and stuff. So we're going to kind of skip over this since it's not super exciting, but it's definitely something that's very useful if you're running a amusement park on your own. All right. The time has come. I'm going to get on this coaster now. I know this specific model I'm actually probably over the weight limit for, but we'll see if they let me on. I'm sure they will. All right. We did it. I'll get on this one. Thank you. All right, and we've made it on and we got a seat right in front of the hamster wheel. That's perfect because I don't necessarily want to do that today. Wow. It's like that wheel is going to come at me. <laughs> yeah, it definitely felt like that wheel was going to just run right into me while I was on the coaster. That was pretty cool. All right, now we're going to get on this tower here. Here we go. So you rotate around. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> I love it. Get a good view of the show floor. So we need to go all the way over there and I only have one hour left to do that. So I'm glad I'm getting these rides in, but got some ground to cover. This is really fun. And put this in a family entertainment center. This would be a really awesome ride. All right, now we're at Skyline Attractions. They make a lot of kiddie coasters and let's check out what they have modeled out here. So it looks like they're selling a few models, the E and F, the C and the Model A. All different size kiddie coasters, perfect for a family entertainment center, just like it says. Love these little models they have on display. Over here at Watman World, they have battery operated trains. That's awesome. And environmentally friendly. Here's Wiegand's booth. We actually rode one of these over at, yeah, Rowdy Bear Ridge in uh, Pigeon Forge. We have a video of that. I'll link that in the, in the notes in the description down below. Um, but this, this, is, uh, this is their booth here, and this is uh, pretty cool. This is a themed uh, power coaster car here. Oh, they also, have, they also have a water park section. I guess they make 
water rides. This is pretty awesome. It looks like you get in a little little water coaster here and you climb up then you go through the tube swirl around and come out so i just found out that this is a concept and you can scan this qr code here to see it in motion but this is not at any park right now so this slide coaster is just a concept that you know you could have at an amusement park probably not a cruise ship but maybe Oh, my favorite man, Zoltar's here. And he's on free play? <laughs> wow. Zoltar the Great Gypsy is here to give you ancient wisdom for your happiness. Pay attention now. Men of genius are admired. Men of wealth are envied. Men of power are feared. But only men of character are trusted. And you know, it never hurts to bribe your friends on sometimes. For example, give me a bit more cash and I will give you your fortune. <laughs> That's your cousin Zoltar? Yep. He's kind of a jerk now that he's famous though. <laughs> he's letting it get to his head. What are you up to today, lawman? What's that? What are you up to today? Oh, uh, just messing with guys that have cameras. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. All right. Hey, his shoes untied. What are you handing out down it's here? Untied. Made you look. Come on, man. That's too easy. Oh, wow, man. Gotcha. Watch where you're grabbing there, buddy. <laughs> Pay no attention to the guy with the microphone behind you. So the door is locked. So you put a dollar in. So you put your buck in. Oh, wow. I think I've seen this before. Yeah, yeah we got him over. <laughs> you go, you scan it with your phone with the app, and he comes alive. He gives you a Oh, man. Yeah, so they're at like every uh, Smith and Kroger. All those so you can get like these that. at yeah, your local Mason. grocery store. Yeah, awesome. I think it's Smith's and Kroger's. This is awesome. Yeah, man. Wow. Glad I stopped by here. Yeah. So that booth actually they actually owns Zoltar. And uh, that's a family business there. And they do all sorts of stuff. That's really awesome. Yeah, I'd love to launch the coaster. <laughs> Here it comes. Charging. Awesome. So that company is called Amazing Magnets, and uh, I guess they make a magnetic launch coaster. Really awesome. All right, now I'm gonna go to the water park section, see what's going on over there. Here's a company called Ballast. They have virtual reality for water parks. Uh, over here is Whitewater. It looks like they have this kind of giant flume. You can scan that code and ride on the Super Flume boat. Here's a concept model of the Super Flume. So this is a walkthrough experience that they're pitching right here. And normally you'd have water dripping on you. Uh, but today it's like a seven minute walkthrough. But fortunately I can't record. And I think that's really about it for the, the water park section. I really got to keep it moving here. There's a lot of cool stuff everywhere. So it's kind of like I'm walking through a fair or a, you know, an arcade right now. There's a lot of stuff everywhere. Rhode Island novelty. You get yourself one of these belly buddies. You know, I never would have thought there are so many companies that make these toys that you can win these prizes. Here's some Jurassic World ones. Wow. It's kind of eye-opening, you know, just to think about. Never thought about the origin of these things. Okay, so I made it to one of my favorite parts of the show floor, what looks to be, this is the arcade expo. This is the arcade section of the IAPA show floor. And everything, everything is on free play. Are you set? Go. Oh, geez, it gets higher. Just trying to figure out the skill here. Oh. I think like slow and, st oh, no. Got 93. The top score is 150. Got some Monopoly, some VR over here. Rhythmatic. No way, they have a whole bowling alley here on the show floor. 
This is crazy. Hyper bowling. Cactus Canyon from uh, Chicago Gaming Company is here. And here is American Pinball. They have Houdini, Hot Wheels, Legends of Valhalla. It's tough to play with one hand. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> ah. I could spend the entire day here at IAPA just playing new pinball games. Um, and I didn't come here really to play these pinball games, but this, oh my, I see more, I see more. Uh, Stern is here at uh, Pinball Alley. They have Led Zeppelin, Avengers, Turtles, Jurassic Park, Deadpool, and Mando. Oh, let's go over there and see Mando. Here it is, Mandalorian Pinball. Look, oh, Grogu's, Grogu's right in the corner there. This is really cool. The arcade section is honestly very overwhelming. I have to kind of pull myself out of it because I've got about an hour left here on the floor. Hello. You're taller than me. You know there's some small penguins over there, like dancing and singing. Okay. <laughs> Mummy penguin. Oh, look at that nutcracker back there. So I realized if you really want to experience the show floor here, you gotta really spend a full day because there's a lot of cool demos and attractions, a lot of VR stuff here, um, but there's also just a lot to see in a, in a few hours that I'm here. I know, exactly. Like, check this out. Look, the Statue of Liberty. And, uh, oh, this guy. I've heard about this guy. This entire booth is an orchestra, and I am the conductor. That is what we put to work for you. Pretty cool, right? All right, that animatronic guy was honestly like the one thing I saw from some other vlogs, the previews of other, other vlogs. So really glad to have seen that in person before I leave. Look how lifelike this animatronic is. This is incredible. And a giant giant crow here this is I think this is the biggest animatronic on the show floor he's got a little camera here so I guess he reacts to you hello pretty bird hmm. oh oh no I made him mad or her mad here's a dark rod So you take a seat and shoot some stuff. Uh, there they are, inside the dark red. Oh, Triotech worked on Knott's Berry Tales. That's awesome. I haven't been over there yet to try that out. Here's an undersea explorer VR experience um, by InMotion. I'm just gonna skip right over this, but here's Biden and Trump. So here's Gravedigger, and this is a VR experience. So this is a dynamic VR simulator, and you just get right inside of this monster truck, and it's, I guess it's just like you're, you're riding it, you're, you're crashing into stuff, you're going over cars. <laughs> here it is in motion. You can actually wait and try this out for yourself right here on the expo floor. Uh, if I was gonna wait for something, it would totally be this, but I have like 10 minutes left. And here's Great Coasters International. Another fantastic manufacturer of, of coasters. Here's Sally, Sally Dark Rides. This is Volcano, the quest for the Golden Idol. Our tropical home is in danger from a savage force of molten fire. We call Volcano. 
This monstrous being has escaped its prison, and you are our only hope to confine it once again in the Temple of Fire. To do so, you must first destroy six demonic statues to reveal and secure the sacred Oratika idol. Okay, I'm winding down my first Ayapa experience here. And, uh, yeah, I got a lot more time next year or whenever I make it back here. I need a, like a full day to be able to ride everything, to be able to try all the VR experiences uh, and see all the demos. There's just, and even just to talk to people, there's just so much to do here on the show floor. Um, so if you're headed out here, definitely uh, plan on a full day. So this is Billings Productions, and they specialize in all sorts of things like extreme predators, dinosaurs, primal predators, and more. Okay, I thought that crow was the biggest animatronic, but <laughs> this guy, this guy is massive. Whew. So I hope you enjoyed this quick peek at IAPA 2021. And uh, we were, I think we were able to see some of the major stuff here in a few hours, but Next time, I'm definitely going to plan on a full day. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time. So it's coming back November 14th through 17th, 2022.